Good morning and welcome to Daily Devo, the best way to start your day in the Word of God. My name is Whitney Mead and welcome to my show. You can find me right here every Monday through Friday where we're going to get encouraged, get filled up and grow closer to the Lord. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to get notified every time a new episode of Daily Devo goes live. I want to invite you to join my free 21-day video devotional series, Fitness in the Father, where we're going to study fitness of the mind, fitness of the body, and fitness of the spirit. It's all free at fitnessinthefather.com. You can also text the word Whitney to 31996 to join. Now, let's get down to business. Have you ever gotten just flat on your face in worship? I'm not joking. If you'd asked me that question 10 years ago, I would have honestly told you, no, I have not gotten flat on my face in worship. But today, I can say yes and many, many times over. I used to be really timid about expressing worship to the Lord through my body, but as I've grown in my relationship with Him, it doesn't feel so weird anymore. It's a special way to connect with our King. What does it mean to actually lay ourselves out before the Lord, literally flat on our faces? Well, the Bible calls it being prostrate before God. We actually see many of God's prophets falling prostrate before him to receive visions in the Old Testament, some for days and days on end. We also see David doing this and many kings doing this, oftentimes to show honor to another person. Let me be clear about something. God doesn't command us to lay down before him, that's for sure. But I want to encourage you to explore this prayer posture on your own sometime. When I lay on my face before God, it's usually for one of two reasons. One, because I'm absolutely exhausted or hurting or wounded in some way, and I want to literally lay before my king to receive healing and be built back up again. It's my way of saying, Jesus, I fully lay my life in your hands. The second reason is that I'm overcome with love and adoration of God, and laying down before him is just a natural reflection of my reaction to his glory. Psalm 95, 6 says, Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. If you've never tried bowing or laying down before God, try it today. I dare you. I think you will be pleasantly surprised at how intimate and special your quiet time with the Lord will be. I bless you today, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow.